It's a good question to ask. How are we using our tools? Are we using it to fight with someone over an episode of Big Brother Niger? Or are we using it to bring about change in the environments that we are experiencing? And look, change might be different to you, right? You've spoken a lot on political change, protest, et cetera, et cetera. Change might mean something different to you. It might mean that you are going to use the tools that you have online to start a business. You're going to go and find clients in the UK and say to them, look, you have no social media following. I'm based here in South Africa. Our rand is like nothing compared to your currency. You could pay me what you pay to buy a pizza and mm. I will go and post your stuff and bring business into your company. Mm. Boom. We've got a client that you're working with that brings income. Now you're getting paid in pounds times that by 20. Let's see how much money we can make here. Where can we invest this money? Can we maybe increase and grow that business to the point where I'm working uh, 20 hours a week, or whatever it may be, mm. to the point where I'm going to go and find someone else and say, hey, I've got all this work. Come and help me. Now mm. you're paying that person. Now that person is not unemployed. That person is going to take that money and is going to go to the shops and is going to spend that money in the shops. Now that shop is going to make more money. They're going to go to local restaurants and buy nice food at those local restaurants. They're going to be able to build their businesses. That creates another opportunity because now they've got budgets to get someone else to do their social media. Now you go and say, look, let me do your social media. I'm working with 10 clients in the UK. This is what we've done for them. Let me help you. So there's so many opportunities here. I don't see why we are unemployed because we can, we can take advantage of all these tools and make opportunities, but we mm -hmm. need to sit down and really ask ourselves as young people, what are we using these tools for? Mm -hmm. And that's a very important question to ask. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that we had this discussion and I hope that it can like open up people's minds to what's possible because you and I are, are examples of this. Candace, you're sitting in an office in Sanson right now. How do you get there through using these tools? Yeah. I'm also sitting in Sanson right now as a young person who started his own business, has never worked in nine to five mm. and managed to make it possible for myself. Mm. There's no reason why you can't, someone listening to this can't do it yourselves. You just yeah. need to be able to think about how you're using these tools, connect yourself with the right people and get involved, mm. get involved. And mm. it can make a huge change in your life. And that change can overflow into the lives of others. So with yeah, that being I, said, I, I feel like yeah. the name of this episode should be creator change, create the change that you want to see. Okay. Like that is, that is pure, simple, like period that that's all I have to say. Like you ended it on the right note. Like I feel we yes, have the resources, but we also have to realize that we also can enable the world and the environments and communities that we want to see.